Hey everyone, grab your tea and relax. If you've never seen me before, my name is Tavala and I usually make vlogs in order to share my journey through medicine. The aim of these vlogs is to share with you guys a realistic insight into the life of a doctor in London. So I'm aware I'm having a mediocre hair day. Anyway, I think it's really nice when people are able to share positive aspects of their life. However, life is just made such that things don't always go to plan in the way that you want them to. Help! And today is one of those days. I've worked in the hospital every day this week and I've decided not to go in this morning. The reason behind this is I woke up feeling pretty okay. For breakfast, I had a high protein, high energy milkshake, which I got straight out of the fridge. I was so hungry and I thought if I have something high energy then that will really fill me up. And the reason that I had this high protein milkshake is annual leave has been cancelled for this month at the hospital I'm working at and I've also been picking up extra shifts because the number of people affected by COVID each day is rising here in London and I'm really just trying to put in my energy towards helping those in our community. That is very important to me and as i was scheduled for a long day a 12 and a half hour shift today i really wanted to just give myself that bit of energy especially because it's nearing the end of the week <sighs> after i had this high energy filling milkshake i decided to come upstairs and my mum had made me some tea am i going to say no to tea immediately after i downed my tea i had a cold glass of water and I think all of that in combination must have done something to my tummy. Oh, and I also had some like Indian confectionery with that. So I got all ready to leave the house and a part of me felt a bit sick, literally as I was about to leave. But I thought to myself, oh, if I'm feeling a little bit strange and I get the cab, I might feel even more sick. So let me try and get the train to work. So I left the house and I was on my way to work and oh my goodness, I just, I had some reflux. Um, I don't know if it was reflux or like I actually wanted to be sick, but I thought, okay, this is just probably from what I ate. So I continued the journey and like actually felt like I was going to throw up. As a result, I terminated my journey to work. I really stopped to think and feel within myself what my body wanted. And my gut feeling was don't go to work because you feel unwell and here's the thing I think sometimes when you feel a little bit unwell we're like oh no we'll be fine but at the end of the day I have to think about patient safety if I'm going to go to work and I'm going to be thinking oh I'm going to be sick oh I might throw up I don't think that's going to make me fully present in managing my patient and listening to them examining them and just being attentive so I thought it was better for patient safety that I just took this moment to rest up and make my health a priority. I mean, just ask yourself, would you want a doctor who comes to work and they're like, gonna throw up, Bleh. No, you don't. On reflection, I feel that I've been doing a pretty good job at tuning into how I'm feeling on a daily basis and just making sure that I'm feeling well in myself physically, mentally, and where I feel that that might be a compromise and taking measures to make sure that I'm keeping myself well. And I know that this concept applies to every other field as well, whether you're working in healthcare, whether you are studying at the moment, you really need to listen to what your body is telling you. If it's telling you that you're tired, it might mean you need to spend a few more hours or whatever recharging. If there's a strange sensation in your body, you might want to see a doctor about that. And I'm sure you can think of many different ways in which your body can tell you that it needs something. I'm not too sure about the exact science behind this. And I suppose this is more from experience, but I would imagine that your brain sort of naturally wants to be productive. And if there's some uncomfortable sensations within your body that you might initially be aware of, I think the mind can be quite quick at judging, okay, this is something that's bearable, um, and sort of ignoring that sensation until it snowballs in a way that becomes actually too bothersome, by which point sometimes it can be a little bit too late, or it might take even more energy now dealing with it than if you had just tuned into that sensation and dealt with it early on. So now let me give you a little bit of insight into what I've been up to since I've been here. 
I've just been chilling out on the sofa with these duvets and I thought I would sleep. I opened this window, I took the radiator out of the room because that was just making me feel too warm and too hot. Got some fresh air in and I just like laid on the sofa until I felt a lot better. I watched some documentaries and interviews featuring Beyonce and also this video where she talks about bringing in some dancers from a different country in order to teach her some moves. For the music video, Run the World? The one that goes, who run the world? Girls. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I also <laughs> have my Kindle here and I was very close to opening the book on driving theory. However, I'm not actually connected to the Wi-Fi in my house on this Kindle and I cannot be bothered walking to the Wi-Fi router, router, whatever you guys call it, in order to get the passcode. So instead I've decided to just hibernate here and not learn how to drive. Also another thing I wanted to show you guys is this really cute bag that I bought recently. Look at this. It fits my iPad in here perfectly and look how furry and smooth it is. And then in here, I've got a little pocket in order to put my Kindle in. I've got like this little part to put pens in, I've got this little zipper up at the front here. I can either carry it or it's got this strap that I can just put around my shoulder at work. It's super convenient because I'm the type of person to just fill my bag as much as it can hold and that doesn't serve me very well because it means my bag gets really heavy and that can put me at risk of getting back pain or problems. So this super small bag, which sort of fits in all my essentials, forces me to take only the things that I need, um, which at the moment for me is the iPad for if I need to check emails, edit photos for Instagram, make illustrations, check the BNF, attend video calls for work and stuff. The Kindle is there to sort of encourage me to be a bit more productive with my life in terms of learning new skills, um, reading self-help books, which for the record, I'm really into. <laughs> but yeah, I really love this bag. I think it's like more on the affordable side for the types of bags that I own. So I'll link the bag below. If you buy the bag, then I think the idea of these links is that I get a small commission out of it. I haven't really shared these Amazon links before. Yeah, if you buy it, we can be matching. Send me a photo and let me know what your thoughts are. As for what I'm going to do now, I don't feel 100% still, if I'm honest with you guys. So I'm going to uh, continue laying around here, resting up. And here's how I see recharging. Suppose you were to charge your phone and you were using Instagram, YouTube as the phone is charging. That phone is going to take a long time to charge. If you, however, put it on an airplane mode or you turned it off or you just like stayed away from your phone, that phone is going to charge a lot faster. Now imagine this, you leave your house with 19% battery. That phone's going to run out soon. It's going to die a lot earlier. It's probably not going to last you the day. That's what happens when you're using your phone and the apps as it's charging and then you have to leave the house. However, if you were to just let it charge to even a hundred percent by just leaving the phone alone then that's gonna last you the whole day right you're gonna have a great day you're gonna be able to use your phone whenever you want to and it's just going to be a lot more useful and helpful to you and your productivity and that's just the way I see recharging. I could at the moment start, you know, preparing the next YouTube video, um, you know, preparing some teaching materials. I could be learning how to drive whilst I'm just laying here waiting for my tummy to just stop acting up. But I just don't think that's an effective way to relax. I am actually at my favorite place in the house. I love this window. From this window, I can see the garden. I can hear the birds. Good morning, Ami. <laughs> Oh, 
I hope from this video you take away a lesson or two. Putting your well-being, your health, physical as well as mental, is so, so crucial and it is something that we should be making a priority in our lives. When we are able to look after ourselves and make sure that we are well, we automatically have a lot more energy to give to those around us. And for those of you who like to save lives, or you guys aspiring healthcare professionals, then that's super, super important to be practicing in your daily life so that when you get to that stage of being able to serve your community you have these skills and qualities sort of just within you nothing great and sustainable really happens overnight but with patience and dedication and some practice you'll get there Thank you to you guys who tuned into the live Q&A yesterday, which is completely unannounced. The idea of the live was to just announce the winner for the free pizza giveaway. And since so many of you guys had questions on the live chat, I thought I'd just stick around. The vibe was nice and I actually really enjoyed it. I'm thinking of doing more lives like that on a slightly more regular basis. So if you are interested in that sort of thing, then do let me know in the comments below. There's a lot going on in the world around us and I know that loads of you guys have questions about healthcare, my life as a junior doctor, um, my hard drive. And so yeah, I think it will be nice for me to just address you guys' questions in one place and hopefully that gives you guys the satisfaction that you need and also the benefit for me as I get to connect with you guys and that makes me feel really happy. And before you guys take your last sip of tea, I would like to thank Skillshare for kindly sponsoring this video. If you guys have never heard of Skillshare, which I'm sure you have by now, Skillshare is an online learning community that brings together thousands and millions of people around the world in order to take their creativity levels to the next step. Skillshare has a range of courses on a number of topics from graphic design to illustration to leadership and management, and I'm sure you'll find something that interests you. Back when I was doing my intercalated BSc at Imperial College School of Medicine, I felt somewhat isolated being on the other side of London, away from familiar places and people. Admittedly, those days were pretty dark and I made weekly paintings on these small A5 canvases dedicating only 30 minutes to each of them. I found that pretty therapeutic and I therefore found Maryville Martin's course, Art for Your Heart, How to Art Journal for Wellness and Balance really interesting. I agree with a lot of what she says and I think we can all benefit from this course. The first thousand of you to use my unique link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, a place to unlock your creativity. Thank you for watching. Mm.